Tis the season to be spooky. Boo! Did I scare ya? Kittens, we're back with another Harry Potter Wizards Unite Brilliant event. This event has to do with the dark arts and the month of October. It is being called the Dark Arts Month. Spooky! I've been seeing this week's event or month, I should say, is being separated into two single week events, meaning it's another two week event broken down with a week in between. But we also got word and confirmation that there is a very special event for Halloween. Hopefully it's not too cold. I live in the North, not that great for Halloween. Always had to wear jacket, sweaters, stuff under my costumes to make sure I stayed warm. If I recall, we only had one year that we had a nice, lovely, warm weather, like 80 degree Halloween weather, which is rare. We usually range in the 50s to 60s. We've also been confirmed with another community day, which is October 19. I don't know if I'm participating in the community day because I am going to a pop-up Pokemon themed artist gallery where my friend's friend or I should say my acquaintance because I do know him is selling his art I think I'm not sure I'm not too sure there was nothing really on the event page it was just a hey, Pokemon thing artist music food tacos lots and lots of tacos so I'm excited for the tacos if you want to see anything about that Pokemon pop-up art event thingy, follow me on Instagram at Zombie Kitty. I believe it's spelled the same way. I don't know if I've capitalized the Z or the K. Either way, the link is down below. And everything that isn't on YouTube, like if I go to an event or something special like that, is usually on Instagram. Possibly on Snapchat, but... Lately, I've just been using Instagram and Snapchat just to talk to my friends who refuse to have a phone number active and only use Wi-Fi to talk to us. On to the actual brilliant event. As per usual, there are four special assignments with three tasks each to get all the foundables because there are two event, found two event task foundables this time around, not three two we get special frames and stuff with the pictures and stuff which is kind of something not really many people care about yeah to just give us more like fun stuff not that at all uh one of the event things like when you first loaded up was you got a special new potion that helps with the traces and the first event makes you use it and they force you to buy it i don't know whether or not it can be crafted since i already have my potions queued up for the potion part of the special assignment task list. It seems like it's pretty cool. Like it looked like it was showing you exactly where to go with more to find the more foundables. I don't know if it's supposed to be like the other ones where it increases your chances of finding foundables, but we'll see when I get to make one. Hopefully I do get to make one at some point today. If not, I will add some text next to me that will let you know exactly whether or not you can make one and by make i mean craft because you know the word craft is the thing for video games you know minecraft the whole game based about crafting things which speaking of minecraft are you ex as excited as i am for minecraft earth i can't wait and it almost seems like we're not getting it till december which means there's really going to be no time to play at all but i will i will try my best I will do like a monthly Minecraft Earth video. I don't know how that's going to work. I believe it has to be upright, which isn't the best. So maybe it'll be like little like two, three minute videos. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. Also, something that came with the newest of the new in the event is they are giving us 25% off brewing time for the is Systemolo potions and the healing potions. I'm not sure that's how you pronounce the first one, but that's how I pronounce the first one. Estilimo. Uh That means they take 25% less time to complete. And if I'm not mistaken, the Estilimo one is the two hour one. So that means it's an hour and 
three quarters of an hour, an hour and 45 minutes. That's not bad. And then if you do the little like wand magic thingy with it, it drops it down like another 15%, I think. So we should be able to get through the, sorry, a leaf fell. We should be able to get through the potions part of the special assignment tasks event scenario that we do every year that I already have queued up. It's four. I found out it's four. I have three queued up currently. So that one won't be that hard for me to complete unless they nerf the thing that we could have them kind of queued up beforehand. If they nerfed it, I'm screwed. <laughs> and I will no longer be saving my potions and making them like there's no tomorrow. Sorry, there's a cute dog. I'd show you, but I don't think that's technically legal in my state to film someone in public and I just realized my water is in the frame. Whoops, that's just gonna stay. I am drinking a Neuro Sonic Energy Refresh New Improved Formula, Orange Passion. I, <laughs> look at me try to be Vanna White. I prefer the super fruit one because it tastes weird, like medicine, and I kind of like that taste. I don't like medicine taste, but I like that taste and the leaf just fell in my purse. <laughs> the leaf just fell in my purse. <laughs> but the orange one's not bad. It's kind of like a light version to crush if you drink crush. And as we've seen on countless events and countless community days, we get a free pack in the store to make sure you can start the pack event this time it was a book and 15 energy so that's actually really cool last time i think we got like energy and money i think neactic really did learn from pokemon go and all the gripe about like certain things and then the gripe that this was the hardest game to obtain energy or get energy if you lived in the rural areas so i think they're trying to make it where you can get energy a lot more frequent so those individuals can play, which is great to out rural friends that live out in like the boondocks, or what we call the boondocks. <laughs> I live in Chicago. So the greater area of Chicago is called Chicagoland. There isn't really much unincorporated area near Chicago. You do have to drive like an hour or two out of the way. And I've been to the rural of Illinois. It's nothing but farmland. Farmland, farmland, maybe a barn, maybe a tree, but there's not much to see. So your first task, you use one, you use one tonic for trace detection. Ah, you see that I have notes this time around. Yes, so I don't forget what I'm talking about, even though I'm still forgetting everything. You need to defeat three regular oddities, three brilliant death eaters, which is glitched right now. Maybe not today. Maybe like somehow it got fixed. But yesterday I was trying to play. I can't get past the first task because I've, yes, I have had two brilliant death eaters. Two, count them, two, one, two. And they did not register at all. So I'm hoping at some point today they register because it was kind of sad that I didn't get a chance to do it correctly second task is to brew four potions which as you know i already have queued up several times i think i've mentioned i have potions queued up several times which is part of my previous videos tips and tricks part of the video which is not happening this time because i don't think there are any new tips or tricks uh there's nothing really to do about the dragons that we had because there was the dragon event and i assume the dragons are only going to be around for dragon events your third task is to play four wizarding challenges, which I can easily do because there's a wizarding challenge arena castle like a block from my house. So I just drive over there, sit there for 10 minutes, drive back home. You need to get three Malfoy family crests from Brilliant Runestones, which means you do need to use the Brilliant Runestones in order to... I, did you see that? I just got hit in the face by a leaf. Nature? is so evil like why does it have to be so mean to me and if you can't tell that was sarcasm i'm sorry for you <laughs> and then you need to use five esmilio potions the 
original, the irregular, the one that doesn't have any like potent or extra strength in front of it. So for everyone who saved up on the extra strength and the potent ones, they will not work. You have to use the original ones, which is why I assume we're getting the extra 25% off on the time it takes to make them. We, on the fourth task, have to defeat six oddities. Six. And that's not like brilliant event one. So that should actually be easy because a, a, it's rumored. I'm not sure yet. I haven't been able to confirm it myself. I, a couple places have said it's confirmed, but I've looked at the official sources and nothing really is confirmed about it. That uh, oddity, certain oddities are going to be in flux, meaning we're going to get more of them. And if you go to the places that have like higher chances of getting certain things, we're supposed to be able to get more of that specific type of oddity. So hopefully that works out. I'm not too sure. Maybe, I don't know. So last but not least, the registry. Squirrel, he's so cute. I want one. I mean, I technically have a pet squirrel. We just feed a squirrel that comes to our house every, oh my God, there's two, there's two squirrels. Hang on. I don't know how to flip this. There should be a way to flip the camera as I'm filming. I've done it before. Little squirrel, little squirrel. Let me zoom in. Whoops. I'm on a tripod that is very fragile. See? Squirrel, squirrel. Look how cute this squirrel, squirrel is. Look how cute the little squirrel is. Squirrel. Back without the interruption. <laughs> The registry has six foundables to find. You have the wild encounters, which are the oddity type things. And I have lawnmower and I can't hear. But as I was saying, the wild encounters are the brilliant Death Eater and the brilliant Azkaban escapee. They work like the oddities where you have to fight them in order to get the thing, if that makes sense. I'll show you. I think I already have one that I've recorded, but I'll record another one just in case. Then the wizarding challenges are the Malfoy family crest, the event tasks are the brilliant Death Eater mask, and the brilliant Azkaban prisoner number. If you haven't seen any of my previous videos, I have tons of tips and tricks throughout the video, such as my favorite, which is queuing your potions to easily beat the potion task because we've had it several times where they're like, make six potions, make five potions, make 10 potions. And it's like, uh, I don't have the time for this. I'm grinding and grinding doesn't work that way sometimes. I will also link the playlist to the Wizards Unite down below. Uh, before I forget, we also have a rumor that ghosts are gonna play a much more important role in the game instead of being some because i know we can get moni myrtle i think there's another ghost that we can get like through normal things like where you find the foundable and you do the trace to capture it i think or what's rumored is they're going to have a much more important role and we're going to get some of more ghosts like nearly headless nick the I believe her name's the gray lady which should be fun. Hopefully that's on Halloween. Like hopefully Halloween, like there's just ghosts walking near you everywhere. That'd be so cool. And then I could like trick it into being like full body apparition type of dealy bob. Oh, <laughs> there's so many leaves falling. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more. Thank you kittens. I am Zombie Kitty. Have a good night.
I cut in the grass next to me. Like I hear the other version going around, but no, please don't. I waited for kids. I waited for dogs. And now I'm gonna wait for them. As we have been seeing this event is two weeks separated into two events. Blah blah blah. No. As we've been seeing this week is blah blah blah. blah. Nope. As we have been seeing this event this two weeks separated into two single week events. As per usual, there are four special tasks to do with three tasks each per special event. Did I speak English? Am I speaking English to you guys? Let me know in the comments down below because this is part of the blooper reel.